Hi, in this video, let's see how we can work with IDS alerts. So let's start with the real-time alerts dashboard. So this is a live dashboard that uses WebSockets to show you alerts as they appear on the probes. You can see the little animations over here. So the four panels here, the, in the top you have this visualization tool that helps you work with large quantities of alerts. Uh, you, can, uh, you can play with these tools, explore it. At the bottom here, you have uh, aggregated alerts over the last two days. You can change all of those settings here. So going through these alerts, you can find this one looks pretty bad. So there are five of them. You can click on them. So I'm going to show you how you can drill down from here. So the, there are three major ways you can drill down or pivot from these alerts. The first one is the new graph analytics feature that we've added in the latest release. If you select view edges, it shows you all the relationships of this alert. So this is the middle right there is a SIG ID and you have the alert name which is actually a relationship to that and you have all the IPs that are impacted. Uh, you can click on each of them and expand, explore it, explore them further. You may have to drag them a little bit to rearrange. So the next drill down is the packets. So in the packets, that you have the packet headers. Clicking on packet headers goes out to the probe, retrieves the strings that can be seen in the packets. We found this a very useful shortcut rather than opening up Wireshark every single time. So you, so this is the HTTP headers in that packet. You can, of course, just download the entire PCAP. Or you can click this button here and download in one shot all of the PCAPs of all the five instances of this alert. The third drill down is the flows. If you select the, in this conversation, So you, it goes out and gets the flow that caused the alert and they've been tagged. So all the flows that have alerts are tagged with, automatically tagged with a string called IDS. And we've also had a country uh, tag to it. So from here you can uh, drill down further into different flows. So you can, you can see that there's quite a number of things you can do with alerts and we're not going into the details. I'll also show you another entry point to an analysis. If you, if you click on show all under the alerts, it shows you all the different types of alerts that are supported inside Trishul. And uh, IDS is just one of them. You can click on that. And there are a number of grouping options so you can group all the alerts by priority. Uh, you, then you can focus only on the high priority alerts. And once again, you can click on these facets to drill down into them. Again, all the drill down options are, that you saw earlier are available here as well. So we'll see what's going on. So you can see that there's a poodle attack. And we'll have a separate video on the graph analytics, but you can click on the tree map view uh, to drill down even further. Well, there are other, there are other alert dashboards 
There's alerts over here and there's a security dashboard. So this one shows you like network traffic, the number of alerts you've seen over time. and various TCPR activities. So you can play with these. I, I, I just wanted to show, give you an introduction to the kinds of things you can do with the alerts. That alerts inside Threshold. So uh, thanks for watching.